everybody. Welcome to a Memories to Moments Monday. And I have a quick scrapbook page for you guys. And it's actually not a, um, like a quote project life type layout. I'm not using the page protectors and I'm not using the basic, um, any of the basic layouts. But what I wanted to show you guys is more than ever, what Project Life is teaching me is to take these moments that I have every day with my family and my friends and to turn these, you know, these memories that we make, these moments, these everyday moments, to capture those moments and to scrapbook them, which is what I've always wanted to do. I don't think I ever really understood scrapbooking what what it could do or what it could bring to your life. I enjoyed it. I loved doing it. I was very passionate about it. But somehow I got caught up in thinking that scrapbooking had to be these enormous events, these birthdays or these holidays or these. And so throughout the years, I have not always just taken pictures of our everyday life. And so that's really what I want to try to start inspiring you guys to do. So even though it's not technically a project life type layout, it has everything to do with project life. So I have this one random photo I took of my girls and I'm not even sure why I took it at the time. I just, I snapped the picture and I love this picture. Violet's eyes, she has really, really blue eyes. And in this picture, they really, really came out. And I love how um, Kayla is smiling. It's like this very natural smile. And she's at an age where you tell her to smile and she does these goofy smiles. And it's rare that I capture an honest smile, an honest moment. So I really wanted to use this photo and I want to journal about it and I just so happen to have like a spot and this is actually um, on this I have a layout already and I had this spot open in my scrapbook like I had put it in and then I flipped over and like I didn't have anything for this side and I really liked this paper so I thought well I'm just going to use it instead of you know trying to come up with a different paper. So what I'm going to do is first I have, this is Stampin' Up! paper, so it just happens that I have a lot of paper that coordinates with it. So Okay, so the colors that coordinate with this paper is just, it's Lime Green, or Lucky Limeade, I'm sorry, Lucky Limeade and Pool Party is, that's what's going to coordinate with it and very vanilla. So I just have this designer piece of Pool Party, it has... Um, a design on one side and then stripes on the other. There you go. There, then you can see it. And then I just have this Martha Stewart punch. And we're just going to punch it all the way across. Okay, so I just, I've punched the very bottom of it, and I did that just because this paper kind of reminded me, uh, or this paper reminded me of this particular punch. So what I'm going to do is put this on the bottom. So then I have this piece and I'm going to place it like this. And this was all coordinating um, actually this piece here, this orange piece, and then this piece and this piece, double sided, um, it all coordinated. It was the enchantment. 
paper from Celebrations. And I ended up with a ton of it. Okay. So there's my simple layering and then I have the photo and on the bottom I've placed some of this ribbon which also actually came in the um, Celebrations catalog and it matches Lucky Limeade paper. And then what I've done is I've just stamped this little image from a stamp set that I had and it says hello friend. And it's my hope that my girls will always be friends, not just sisters. And then from my Cricut cartridge, um, Kate's ABCs, I just used the font on there and I cut out sisters. And I'm going to place that, I cut it out at three inches, and I'm going to place that down here. And that's going to be my layout. I mean, other than my journaling, that will be it. I inked around the edges of this photo mat and of that uh, blue. I And I just inked. I used pool party blue. The blue is pool party. And I just, with my pool party ink pad, I... Um, inked around it. So I'll put these down. I'm not sure. Originally I just wanted it to say sister, like you're my sister, but I might put an S on the end of that. I'm not sure. Because I kind of want it to look like hello friend. And then I actually might do hello friend. And then I actually might maybe put hello smaller right here. So it says hello friend, hello sister. I think that's that might be what I do. So I'm going to glue this down. And then my journaling will go right here. And... Um, that will be my layout. So super simple. I know it's one sided and it's only one photo and I don't always like just using one photo, but I'm trying really hard it, as I'm scrapbooking now to try to remember that it's really about capturing these moments that are so precious and I would have never ever scrapbooked this had I not found Project Life and Becky Higgins way of scrapbooking and so I'm so thankful to now have a reason and a way to capture these photos. So thanks guys for stopping by. I'll have a picture under this post. If you go on over to the blog you'll be able to see it. If you're on YouTube I'll have a picture under this video of how this turned out. The very end result. So thanks guys for um, hanging out with me and watching my videos and I will talk to you later.